I was on live, like, it was a long time ago, and I was actually shocked that a bunch of people did not know that Dangote came from a wealthy family from the start. I never even knew that there was a rags to riches story. Let me just be the one to tell you guys now. There is no billionaire that exists that is not exploiting other people that did not come from previous money. You can never make it from the grass to the grace of billionaire unless you become an evil fucking bitch. The glorification of billionaires in Nigeria that contribute to the literal poverty that exists in Nigeria is so insane to me. You will never be Ote Dola. You will never be Dangote. And those people will never help you. I feel like a lot of people cannot conceptualize how much money billionaires have and how inhumane the amount of money they have is. And before anybody comes and start talking about, oh, they have charity, charities are a tax write-off literally everyone has charities not because they want to help people but because it gives them an opportunity to write off part of the taxes that they are paying if they haven't paid any in nigeria religion will not save nigeria tribalism will not save nigeria homophobia will not save nigeria and classism the worst of the worst of all will not save nigeria white supremacy will not save nigeria i'm tired of you guys leak asking like the way i see nigerians kiss white people ask like it's actually embarrassing for a group of people who run around on the internet so prideful jesus stand up elon musk's parents were rich i don't know why people even carry that man on your head the man is racist his parents were rich they had an emerald mine in south africa exploitation of our own people of black people like there's no ethical billionaire in the world not rihanna not beyonce not nobody stop Kiss asking rich people that don't give a fuck about whether you live or die next tomorrow as long as it's not affecting their bank account. We need to band together and focus on ourselves. People that are talking about splitting the country, how do you think, where the fuck do you people think the government spawns from? Do you think the government is just some evil entity somewhere? Our society is consistently producing these evil people because our society itself is so fucking evil. Schools are not free from corruption. Even in the family, the power dynamics in the nuclear family of Nigeria is so fucked. Everybody is power hungry, money hungry, and selfish and greedy as fuck. Everybody is ready to step on everybody to get to some useless goal that is not attainable. From a group of people that came from communism to now glorifying capitalism, I don't know how you guys think capitalism is ever going to work in our favor. It has never worked in our favor. Once you people realize that we are the commodity, we as black people, number one, we are the commodity, our resources are the commodity, and if you are now poor as a black person, your labor is the commodity. We are literally fighting for minimum wage, I believe, 30,000 naira. Imagine 30,000 naira per month. Meanwhile, a bag of rice is 80k. Let's be so fucking for real. Let us be so fucking for real, please. I don't know what kind of delusion, what kind of sleep we are sleeping, but it's time to wake the fuck up. Churches are still making money, even in this recession. Offering, people are still going to church to be giving offering at 10% of it. God is not coming to save you. Rapture is not coming. You are making the rapture happen by doing all this nonsense, sitting back down and going to be praying. Prayer is not going to help. I'm sorry if you are religious. Cry. It's not going to do nothing. Your forefathers have been praying to the same colonialist God that he brought them all these years. And Nigeria has only gotten consistently worse. Please, like, let's stop all this mumu behavior. I'm sick and I'm tired. Celebrities will not save you. They will not. In fact, they will throw you inside the fire if it's going to increase one zero in their bank account. They don't give a fuck.